What's up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. In this video, the question is, are you addicted? And what we're going to be using is a test from the National Council on Alcoholism and Drug Dependence, all right? Now, very quickly, this test can actually be used for just about anything. What I mean by that, gambling addiction, sex addiction, food addiction, smartphone addiction, social media addiction, all these other things. All right, for the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on alcohol and drugs, but there will be a link to this test in the description below. And if you feel that you might have a problem with something else, you can easily take this same test, just swap out what it is. All right, so when it comes to drug addiction, alcoholism, a lot of myths, a lot of misconceptions, a lot of people don't know what separates an addict from a non-addict. Now, one of the biggest issues is because people like to use the word functioning addict. And functioning, not functioning, doesn't matter. Check out the link in the description, um, I mean the info card. There's a video called Rock Bottom and check that out to get rid of that idea of functioning. So anyways, um, this video might be a little bit longer because I'm gonna hit on some details of this test. But as you follow along, the only thing you have to do, the only thing that you have to do is be 100% honest with yourself. You can lie to me, you can lie to your friends, you can lie to your family, you can lie to your boss all you want. All you have to do in this video is be honest with yourself. So let's get started. All right, question number one. Can you get through the week without drinking or using? All right? There's a lot of people who have a problem stopping, but there's this false idea that we can control it. So, can you go an entire week without drinking or using? Are you always able to stop when you want to? This is a big one. This is one of the biggest questions. This is where you need to be honest with yourself. Can you stop when you want to, okay? Addiction involves this, this craving that the average person doesn't get. Once we start, we cannot stop. What, what this means is how many times have you ever gone to the bar and said, I'm only going to have one or two, but you ended up having five, six, seven, eight, however many it is. Those of you who are using drugs, prescription medications, uh, more specifically, that was one of my drugs of choice, can you take them as prescribed or do you need more? And right now you might have some justifications coming through your head like, oh, well, I'm in more pain than what the doctor prescribes me. Leave that out of the equation for right now. Just answer the question honestly, all right? Can you stop when you want to, all right? And don't give me that like, well, I don't want to, all right? Just be honest with yourself. All right, question number three. Do you ever feel guilty about your drinking or drug use? Just so you know, this is not something that normal people feel guilty about, okay? Like, do you ever feel bad for drinking, for using? Typically, you know, my experience was, was because I was hiding it. I was doing it when people weren't looking. And this actually plays into some of the following questions. Like there was guilt associated with my drinking and using. One of them being drinking before work, drinking during lunch, using drugs at work. These are things that I felt guilty about, all right? Being high around my son, high around my family all these things, all right? Do your family or friends ever complain about your drinking or using, all right? So get rid of any kind of bias out of your head, okay? Because I also wanna make very clear, check out some of my other videos about the brain science of addiction. Um, addiction takes control of our survival mechanism, okay? So when our drinking or using is challenged, we get on the defensive real quick. All right, so ask yourself honestly, do your family, do your friends ever complain about your drinking or drug use? Get rid of all the other you know, narrative in this situation, just yes or no, yes or no, that's it, okay? Do they ever complain? Next, this ties in with it. Has your drinking or drug use caused any issues with family or friends? Similar, but different. What this means more is do you fight with your family members when you're drunk? Do you fight with them when you're high, okay? Has it caused issues, okay? Um, another example might be, do has your family members ever given you like an ultimatum? 
Like, you need to quit drinking. You need to quit using drugs if you want to live in my house. If your spouse has ever said, you need to stop or I'm going to leave. Have you neglected family or friends because of your drinking or drug use? This, this is something that, you know, we do when we have an addiction. Um, for example, you're invited to a family gathering or something like that, but you're too drunk to go. You're too high to go. Um, maybe you have said no to some kind of gathering because you knew that you could not drink there or you could not be high there. Okay. Have you ever missed any type of gathering because of your drinking or drug use? Have you lost a job because of drinking or using? This one's big too. Me personally, the first job I ever lost from my drinking, like I said, the brain automatically hops on the defensive. I immediately got thoughts like, oh, the boss was out to get me. These people didn't like me anyways. They were out to da 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 da. The reality was, was that I lost that job for failing a drug test, okay? So just answer this honestly. Have you ever lost a job because of drinking or drug use? Another example is, by the way, if you don't know me, I have lost dozens of jobs back in my active addiction. Okay, and not only did I fail drug tests, but there were times when I drank the night before, like all night long, woke up late for work, got there late, got fired for it, okay? These are the things that we're talking about. Next, have you experienced withdrawal symptoms when you stop? This is a big one too. This is about physical dependency. When you drink or use in excess, and now that I think about it, I need to do a video on why withdrawal happens. So remind me, remind me to make a video on that. But when you stop drinking or using, do you experience withdrawal? My drinking got to a point where right about around lunchtime, my hand would start shaking like this. I was so ignorant to what withdrawal was, I didn't know what this meant. I vomited a lot. Okay, I was going through alcohol withdrawal. My body had become so dependent to alcohol that I needed it throughout the day. As soon as the alcohol was metabolizing in my body, my body would start freaking out because it didn't know how to operate without it. Same thing happens with drugs. If any of you out there abuse opiates, especially prescription drugs, whether it's pain medications uh, or benzos like Xanax or Valium, those have some brutal withdrawals too. Benzos, you can even have seizures. Opiate withdrawal is literally the worst. Aches, pains, nausea. Um, I will do a video on withdrawal symptoms, but go Google symptoms of withdrawal from whatever substance you may or may not have a problem with and see if you are experiencing any of those symptoms when you are not using. Because a physical dependence, like it trumps most of the questions on here. If you have developed any kind of physical dependence to alcohol or drugs, you got a problem, all right? The very last question is, have you had any medical problems because of drinking or using, okay? The first time that I acknowledged my medical issues was the day my son was born. It was a very long labor. My mom had me go down to the emergency room because my feet were swollen. They were swelling up and so were like my calves, right? And I went down there and when talking to the doctor, he asked me a series of questions and one of them was like, how much do you drink? And I told him the truth, like, whatever, I like to get drunk. Like, I'm a young dude, you know, whatever. And he said, this is coming from your drinking. You need to stop. So. All I did was I started lying to all of the other doctors that I ever saw after that. So we lie to ourselves about these things, okay? So you have to ask yourself, have you had any medical issues because of your drinking or using? Fact, alcohol is literally like the most dangerous uh, substance when it comes to harming your innards, okay? Opioid overdose is a fit, is a really quick death from overdose, but alcoholism is very long. It is drawn out. Your body starts shutting down, acting in different ways. Like alcohol was one of the main reasons that I almost died five years ago. But it also had to do a little bit with my prescription painkiller addiction and my cocaine addiction and all the other things I was putting in my body. All right. So 
like I said, the only thing I wanted you to do during these questions was to just be honest with yourself. I did skip over a couple of these questions just for the sake of keeping this video nice and short, all right? So make sure that you check out the link in the description below. Now, question is, what do you do? Like, let's say you answered yes to every single question. And by the way, in order to have a problem with substances, you only need to score like a 40 40% or 50% on this test. Like if you have like even four or five of the questions that I asked you, if those answers are yes, like you really need to seek help. So if you need help, feel free to reach out to me, okay? Leave a comment. I also have in the description all of my social media links, my email address, you can get a hold of me. Let me know, I will provide you with resources, all right? Um, this is for anybody who might be in other countries. I've been having people from the UK and Australia joining up to my channel. So please feel free to reach out. I will help provide you with resources. Also, if you are in the United States and you do not have health insurance, either way, make sure you check out the info cards because I do have a video about how you can go to rehab without insurance, all right? But if you, if you think that you have a problem, if you think that a friend has a problem, hey, even if you're just stumbled across this video and you think one of your friends has a problem, like please share it with them, all right? But like I said, I am always available. A lot of people have been getting a hold of me on Instagram, so I will make this lovely Instagram thing pop up again. Add me on Instagram, shoot me a DM. If I can be of any help to you, make sure you let me know. But also, if you would like to just learn more about the science of the disease of addiction, this month, the entire month of December, you can get 50% off over at my website, therewiredsoul.com, on the science of addiction course. Just use coupon code XMAS50 and you'll get 50% off. So if you want to learn more, go check it out. Surprise! This is part one, okay? I'm going to make a second video talking about the spectrum of addiction and how to know what type of help you need depending on how severe your addiction is, okay? So make sure, if you are new here, hit the little round subscribe button right below my beautiful face right here. Hit the notification bell because I will be making a follow-up. Also, thanks for watching, but check out some of the other videos I have on this channel. A lot of stuff to help you out with addiction, mental illness, and all that stuff. But thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.